They're building a nest in my MPI exhaust. Look. Look at them all. All little birds. And they're holding on to my wheel well and eating, they're scratching my truck. <laughs> seconds. <laughs> oh my goodness. There was 30 of them in there. 50? A hundred? Well, now I gotta go shut it off. Wait, you actually, can't... I was told you can do that on here now. Oh yeah, you just hold the same button. All right, wash that yesterday. The plan is get the hammer out of the back wash bay, get the Proforce in there. It's time to clean this thing up. We do not want this rusting, um, especially since it isn't ours. <laughs> but we gotta uh, get this thing back there. We did pre-wash this, rinse it all down with the uh, water pump in the ditch. Uh, so it has been pre-washed, but we just gotta get it perfectly clean now. I gotta point this out. So you always know when Doug was working on a project because they're never ever finished. See all this stuff in here? I bet he doesn't even, I bet he doesn't even remember he's been working on this. Did he leave it half done <laughs> again? Oh my, he left his shirt in here. Oh my goodness, what was he doing? Oh, he was painting. He said he had to paint it because he ground. The guy before had so much glue on the dash that Doug had to repaint. What did it turn out like? Is that why it smells so good in here? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Look at the quality of that paint job. Oh my, well it fits the truck. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was, <laughs> even in, it was even in gear. Good thing I didn't fire it without checking. I always do that, you know. That thing is full of COVID, I forgot. That, died that was off. what You're you were. Fine. Don't don't give it back. <laughs> That's what he was driving when he was coming down with the vid. Now I just went in there. You'll be okay. We gotta move. We gotta move a lot of stuff. Like everything. The Yankum rope. We could wash that too. Oh my. Why was Doug dragging a chain? What? <laughs> yeah, in front of the uh, 46. Oh, he was just hanging there, letting it dry because I was, was it washing. Was for static it. electricity control? I suppose. I've heard of that. <laughs> I hate these type of problems. Tractor sits in a nice heated shop for, I don't know, I suppose two weeks. Battery's dead. So that was the little surprises that really add to the day. So it just clicked. How long do you have to wait? Was it like a click click or a click? It was like a click. Oh yeah, that's about five minutes. <laughs> been about three minutes and 55 seconds. So we're gonna start the uh, process of high voltage starting. Ooh. I really wonder if Nibbles had a brother that died in here too. It just don't get any better. Tractor for sale? Seems to be an issue right out of the gate. The oil ring seems to not be with us any longer here. Come on. Or maybe it's the tip that's all rusted off. Nice. Okay. Okay. 
play that game, they just won't use you. So I'm not really having fun, I'll be honest with you. But I got the box done inside and outside, back end, spreaders all clean, belts were clean, tractor's dead again so I can't start it and run the belt, not that I'd know how to do that anyways, Big Swede's not here, he's mapping fields again. I got the tracks left to do, some I've been working on it, but Case IH is having their uh, yearly free dinner. So we're going to go there and then also there's a filter sale so we're going to put our filter order in. So we'll be back for this and more videoing when we get back. So we just got back from Case IH, we dropped off our uh, parts list and they, they're swamped. There's like hundred people there so the, we'll pick them up some other time but they gave me this thing the guy that makes these I guess uh, wanted me to have one so thank you for that here is uh, left me a little note here pretty nice of them so thank you I appreciate it what's up you ran over the charger didn't you it's a good thing these guys are here yeah because my uh, my elevation of the temper is well, it's getting there. What happened? Well, you know them ground fault plugins. Yeah. Yeah, they don't like that big charger. Yeah. So the tractor is still yeah. dead. I can't get it. Fifty foot door has been open for ten minutes. So we're nice and cold in here too. <laughs> and I was just at the dentist, and you got the power wash. Yeah. Was it fun? Well, it's cold air, which is what, 10, 10 degrees in my silk and wet pants? Nice. Hold <laughs> it. Yeah, so I had a dentist appointment, so today's workload for Chet was slim to none. I did power wash the majority of this thing, but Dad got to clean up the tracks. Looks like he did a good job. I think he should be the full-time power washer guy. I thought he I thought he forgot that this charger was here and ran it over but unfortunately the whole shop is wired up to code for ground faults which in my opinion are complete garbage because they always trip when we're using big side grinders and this charger which is really inconvenient so annoying actually. Looks like he's gonna bring the truck in the shop here so we can close the door. We'll probably leave the Pro Force back there to dry, I'm assuming is what he's thinking, because we gotta start using that back truck shop every day for power washing equipment. the old 46 ain't gonna fit there so there's really no reason that the 4640 needs to be in the shop anymore we always uh, power wash stuff leave it in the heated storage or building till it dries and everything because uh, you definitely don't want the water to freeze into any components and wreck it and ruin it obviously it's just best to let it dry as long as it can uh, but this has been in here now for three days and we can take the ditch switch off and park it in cold storage So we have some more room might be a tomorrow project But we're gonna try and get this thing parked nosed up in here and then get this truck that we just had in there Back in there, so we'll see Arrgh. Big people must not have designed this tractor back in the 80s Woo! She's cold in here now yeah! <laughs> Toby, come on, buddy! Toby! No, leave the kitties alone! He just doesn't ever stop. So we have had one truck hauling. Tony's been hauling. Uh, we had one contract, and then we actually... I'm not sure. Did you guys do a basis fix contract to get rid of some more corn? Because we're trying to get rid of some cores, right? And get the yeah, bands, keep was, them all moving, you know? It was basis fix. Yeah, so good basis, so we, we're hauling, right? How yeah. many bushels? Another 25,000? 30. 30? 30. 30. Get them cores out. Yep. 
Yeah, okay. it's always good, especially in big grain bins, to keep the grain moving every month or so. What? How was washing these tracks? You did a great job. I'll give it to you. You know how to wash. I used to raise hogs. I know all about washing. Yeah, that's a true statement. <laughs> That's the biggest bone I've ever seen. Yeah, somebody sent this for Toby <laughs> for uh, Thanksgiving. Look at the size of it. Right. Hey, stand still. Unfortunately, he doesn't seem to care about it. You know, it's just tempting to take home and put in the soup bowl. Hmm. Good and bad, he's not a chewer. So, I suppose that's maybe better than bad. What? Better than bad? <laughs> I don't know what I just said there. I think it's gooder. <laughs> it's excellent. Right? Yes. Look at this mess. Have you ever? Yeah, I think Grandpa and Grandma now are in the house yeah. COVID. No, I don't think they have that. They've got the... Uh, Made your head cold, and I went in, and Dad is hanging on the stairwell. I'm out so dizzy, and Dad is the uh, he's the burning guy or the the miscellaneous junk here that gets carried out to the dumpster and everything else. Well, you can see he's been absent. I'm gonna have to take over tomorrow. <laughs> okay, time to go home. He's showing interest. No, oh, get it, get it. No. Well, A for effort. So I think I, uh, I gotta go back to the dentist. I'll go. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> You've my... always been inflicted with uh, cavity after cavity. How many this time? <laughs> Did you top the top? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah, it's not good. Them, them watches that they've had for a year? No, they all come true. They've come true through this time. 13? No. <laughs> Only eight. Good night. Yeah. You don't even have that many teeth, do you? <laughs> the one has three. Oh, well, you're an both, overachiever. <laughs> both sides and the top. Hey, Might as well pull it out. Half. Might as well pull it out. Yeah, well, did you ask them then what dentures cost? <laughs> Maybe that's cheaper. Well, it's, it's the mellow yellow addiction, I think. You figure? <laughs> I got nothing to say. <laughs> you know, do you have insurance for that? Because it's expensive. <laughs> no. No, I don't either. Gonna have to take out a second mortgage. You mean a third? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you better stop talking like that. The banker's gonna get nervous. I can just see it. He'll be calling. What's this about your teeth? All right, we gotta leave. We gotta leave before it gets any more personal. Right. You're no. <laughs> hey, let me go. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow, right? Here, let him go. <laughs>